What I want to do is break down autistic meltdowns. I think we should start off by talking about what isn't an autistic meltdown. An autistic meltdown isn't a tantrum. They're not an autistic person trying to be dramatic. They're not an autistic person trying to manipulate or be selfish. They're not autistic people trying to seek attention. They're not. Autistic meltdowns, they aren't just things for kids. Autistic meltdowns, I wouldn't class either as intentional or controllable. For parents and carers, you can't parent out. You can't discipline out meltdowns. It's part and parcel of being an autistic person. An autistic meltdown, what it is, it's an uncontrollable reaction by your brain being triggered to, now this is where it gets complicated. It could be environmental, could be emotional, could be social, could be physical. Overstimulation or understimulation, environmental overstimulation, the things in your environment, in your world that are become a bit too much, sounds, smells, emotional stuff, not being able to not only understand and process what you're feeling, but convey them to others. Social, we know social and communication challenges are part of an autistic person's way of thinking. It's just their, the way their brain is, is wired differently. Physical overstimulation. Too many people in your space, maybe too much hugs and kisses at parties with your family and friends, or, you know, these types of things. It could even be just the clothes you're wearing. It's your brain being triggered by this over or understimulation. And then, I guess, turning on the siren. The brain has lost control of the emotions that have been triggered by the overstimulation. There's feelings and emotions because of the overstimulation. And they've got to the point where the autistic brain has lost control of those feelings and emotions. They're all part of being autistic. They just die. Autistic meltdowns are part of being autistic. Born autistic, you die autistic. Talk about this so many times. Can't stop them. They're going to happen. And look, as an adult, they're humiliating. You can't just ask your brain to rewire itself and not go, can you not do that again? It's, it's not, you can't, right? This is our brain. It's an autistic brain. But they, they, they are humiliating. You feel horrible after them. But in addition to that, you mentally and physically are drained. They're exhausting. So it's, it's, a, it's a lose-lose situation. It's not something I'm like, oh, man, you know, don't take them away from me. I want them. I love them. I don't want them. I'm just trying to say they're not just for kids. Autistic kids aren't the only autistic people that have meltdowns. No, it continues in life. They can potentially get worse as you have more stresses placed upon you. I hope that's in a nutshell. I hope that kind of gives you some sort of idea as a starting point of what autistic meltdowns are and aren't.